More than 50,000 runners from over 150 countries are expected to lace up for Sunday's 52nd annual marathon in New York City. About one million others are expected to turn out to cheer them on. Ahead of the massive event, local authorities are taking no chances implementing elevated security measures in the wake of what the New York City Police Department says are, quote, heightened tensions around the globe. There are currently no credible or specific threats to the marathon or to our city. But having said that, we will still implement a comprehensive security plan. The actual marathon course will have many layers of protection. Authorities say those protections include a robust counterterrorism component, heavy weapons teams and canine units, as well as deploying plainclothes and uniformed officers along the route. The full 42-kilometer marathon course will traverse all five city boroughs, starting on the Verrazano Bridge in Staten Island before crossing Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan and the Bronx. Runners will then make their way to the finish point located right behind me inside iconic Central Park. Ahead of the big day, tight security measures already in place with multiple street closures and law enforcement officers in place. Hopefully, are you worried at all? I know you live in the area. We've been coming here for years. We've been here through 9-11 and many other scares. And I think the NYPD and all of the other support structures around security in the city are so professional. They're so well informed. They've got great technology. So no, I think it's going to be a fantastic race for everyone and I wish the runners good luck. In addition to a strong police presence, authorities say there will be hundreds of cameras along the course and that all runners and their belongings will be screened ahead of the run. Officials say they need the public's help to make sure the event is safe and a success, encouraging people to be vigilant and report any suspicious behavior. Karina Mitchell, CGTN, New York.